this video is for anybody who needs help with pacing their course or curriculum. I'm going to give you some simple solutions to help you with your pacing and your curriculum. Here we go. There are two fairly easy ways to build curriculum and work on your pacing. <clears throat> One is to reach out to a veteran teacher and ask him or her to share his or her lesson plans. Then they're basically already done. And if it's a veteran, the pacing's probably pretty good. The second is to identify a textbook that you like. Um, when I'm selecting a textbook, I look at reading level and I look at the chapters, how they're laid out and how many there are. Uh, so you're going to want to go and find a state adopted textbook, uh, glance through it for reading level. Uh, I like lower reading levels when possible. A lot of times some of these, especially with science, the jargon can get too technical for the students to really understand and it doesn't need to be at that level necessarily. I want a book that the students can read. So take the textbook and remember these publishers spend an awful lot of money hiring curriculum writers and veteran teachers to go through them. And typically the textbooks adopted by your state will be corresponded to the state standards already for you. And in many times the standards will be written in the book somewhere and show you which standard goes with which concept on which page. So all of that's already done, which will make your lesson planning a lot easier. And then it seems pretty straightforward, but what I will do is I will take the number of chapters and divide it by the number of grading periods. And that gives me a rough idea of how many chapters to cover each grading period. So if I've got a 25 chapter book, most of the books I've looked at typically have between 20 and 25 chapters. I'll divide that by the four quarters, the four grading periods that we have. And I know roughly five to six chapters per uh, grading period is what I'm going to need to do. So um, I will show you with my uh, current curriculum. Here is uh, my first quarter. Uh, this is what I'm doing this year. I'm doing chapter one and then we're doing some field safety because that's important with my course. We like to go out on field trips and I'm going to knock out six chapters, uh, one through six in the first quarter. Second quarter, I'm going to knock out chapters seven through 12. Third quarter, I'm going to knock out 13 through 18. Fourth quarter, I'm only going to cover four chapters. The main reason being is I have uh, an end of course exam that uh, counts for college credit. And uh, I want the students to do well on it. So I need to build some time for review in there. Also, I need to build some time for testing in there because there's going to be a lot of end of year testing in there. So I'm going to cover less chapters. Now, again, you can play with this however you want. You might want to cover seven, seven, and seven and leave yourself a little bit of room here in the fourth quarter, more room for review. Um, you also notice I skipped two chapters that I will either incorporate that information into other chapters or I won't cover it at all, depending on how important it is. Most likely what I'll, in this particular case, I will incorporate it into other chapters and teach it to the students in other ways. So that's how I do my pacing. Uh, I've designed four or five courses um, as far as curriculum goes, including some pilot courses and different things. And um, usually what I'll do is find uh, a textbook. I know that the publishers invested a lot of time and money in corresponding into the state standards. And then I will adjust the pacing as to uh, what makes sense to me. Don't be afraid to move chapters around if it makes more sense uh, for one chapter to build on another. So uh, I hope this helps. If you have any questions or comments, drop them uh, below in the comment section. Uh, thanks for being a hero to our students and have a great school year.